Hello, welcome to the Thursday, October 17th, 2019 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Oracle today released its quarterly critical patch update or short CPU with 219 different security patches. Now, the first thing I always look for here is Java. Java actually, well, um, not all that important. It seems like this time around, there are a good number of vulnerabilities being addressed but the largest CVSS base score is 6.8. The only vulnerability with the maximum score of 10.0 is one in Oracle's NoSQL database. This is exploitable via HTTP and could lead, of course, to a complete system compromise. Certainly take a look at this patch, but we have a number of other uh, vulnerabilities in the high nines. For example, in the Oracle Construction Engineering Risk Matrix product, there are three 9.8 vulnerabilities two of which are in Jackson DataBind, which is the same issue that affected the NoSQL database. The third one is an Apache Tomcat vulnerability that actually goes back to 2017. And that's uh, sadly always a little bit a theme here that we have some critical vulnerabilities that are essentially quite old and come from included open source components. For example, there are still some log4j issues that are being addressed, also a problem with the Apache Commons. That's the file upload vulnerability that's also at least a year old, I think. Now, many of the critical vulnerabilities in this update are related to this Jackson DataBind vulnerability. So a little bit more about this. Uh, this is actually part of the Jackson project. That's a JSON library for Java. And this particular vulnerability is a deserialization issue. We of course had many of them before and uh, this library does, well, what's always hard to do without falling for deserialization that is take JSON data in this case and then instantiate arbitrary objects based on this data. According to the patch notes in GitHub, this is, well, yet another deserialization issue that they are patching here. So be aware there may be more around. And well, I can only assume that many other projects are using that same open source library. So if you are using JSON for Java or this Jackson project, then please make sure that you update. And I talked about the next vulnerability before. This is the VMware Cloud Foundation and VMware Harbor Container Registry vulnerability. If you remember, this could allow for a complete compromise of your Harbor Container Registry CVSS score 9.1 on this one. VMware has released patches for this. So as a reminder, make sure you update this quickly. And rounding out our patches for today, an update for WordPress 5.2.4. It fixes a total of six security issues. Some of them certainly sound like they could be a problem. Like for example, the viewing of unauthenticated posts and also a server side request forgery vulnerability. Not a lot of details as usual from WordPress here, but please update. Uh, it's also easier typically to apply these smaller updates than the one big one when there is yet another great vulnerability in WordPress. And Silence is reporting that they have discovered crypto coin miner code in WAV files. Apparently these audio files are just being used to obfuscate the transmission of the malicious code. Standard steganography techniques are used in order to embed the executable in the WAV file. Now, before anything is executed, the file has to be extracted. So it's not like the WAV file itself would 
actually be executable. Instead, it's really just more used as a transmission vessel. And anyway, this is it for today. So thanks again for listening. And as usual, if you have any stories or so I missed, uh, please let me know or let me know if there is anything I should not have included. Just send a message uh, via the Storm Center's website. Thanks and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.